Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going over how to dump your keyboard input into the piano roll of whatever desired instrument. Now I made a video on this in the past using FL Studio 12 and a lot of you guys have brought to my attention, you know, hey Ali, how do I clear what's in that log? I don't want to dump in like 40 minutes worth of, you know, typing into that instrument. You might want what you just did. You might want the last couple minutes. And so this is going to be a definitive reason why you should also upgrade to FL Studio 20 along a whole other skew of great benefits, great updates that have come. There's a new option uh, that you guys have brought to my attention in the tool section that says, you know, it's no longer like FL Studio 12. FL Studio 12 just had dump the log and it would just do the whole log. You couldn't clear it and you couldn't have some flexibility. Here, um, if I say like the last 30 minutes, we'll get what I just typed in. If I keep typing in here, okay, so let's delete this. Tools, dump score, we'll do the last 30 minutes. You see there, I get this stuff as well. But on top of that, if you guys are doing long sessions of like, you know, just uh, you know, jamming out and trying to come up with something catchy using your keyboard, whatever you're doing, you also have that ability to clear the log. And that's great because now if I start typing and I go to tools, now I just have that. So this is a great feature that I didn't realize has been added to the uh, FL Studio 20. And um, definitely take advantage of that. And if you guys haven't upgraded to FL Studio 20, definitely should. Um, I love FL Studio 20, not just because of this, I just realized this today, but for the improved plug-in delay compensation, um, it's much more reliable, it's much more feature-rich, while still being the FL Studio that we all know and love. So definitely, guys, take a look at that. If you guys have been, because I know you guys have been asking me, how do I clear that log? Look no further than right there. You get the flexibility when you want to put the last two minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes, and then you can also clear the log giving you the ability to then add in some more stuff you see there. So that's just great. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and smash the like button. Leave me a comment. Uh, I hope this will help you guys out who are using the piano roll and use your keyboard because I use my keyboard all the time. I don't use a MIDI keyboard. I just use my PC keyboard and I type in the notes. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. Take care.